right, example number three. Okay, hopefully you're copying all these down for your notes. Um, and again, you can always pause and replay and as many times as you want. It's beauty of the website. Let's take a look at this one. It looks a little bit scarier, but if you understand the process, man, this is just as easy as anything. So let's, again, follow our steps. Step one was to set up a long division problem. And this is going to be a really long division problem. Uh, let me just scoot it all the way over here. 2x minus 3. And now let's do 8x cubed minus 22x squared plus 27x minus 18. Ooh, all the way over there. But I think we'll have enough room. Alright, so before you just shut your computer down, uh, let's not get stressed out or scared by this because we're just going to go step at a time. 2x, how do we make a 2x look like 8x cubed? Well, you might want to look at it as two separate parts. How do you make x look like x cubed? If you're having trouble figuring out what that is, here's a hint x squared. These always end up lining up for some reason, uh, and it's beautiful. So it's going to be x squared, okay, just like the one under it, because when I multiply x squared by x, it gives me the x cubed part. But how do you make a 2 look like an 8? Well, you multiply that by... Voila. 4x squared times 2x gives us 8x cubed. Now 4x squared times negative 3 that's going to give us a negative 12x squared. There it is. Again, my rules for subtraction and smachoing. Okay, set up the subtraction, change it to smacho. Now, 8x cubed and negative x cubed cancel. Good. 22x squared and a positive 12x squared. Let's see what's going to happen there. That's going to be, what, uh, negative 10x squared. Okay. Now we're going to try to make this look like that once we bring down, of course, the 27x. Okay. Uh, real quickly, I mean, negative 5. And if you're unsure about what to write, it's just going to be x there. Uh, negative 5x, that's a negative 10x squared. And negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. x times, that's x right there. Boom. Parentheses. Subtract. Smato. Okay. These cancel, obviously, and 27 take away 15 is 12x. We're going to bring down Mr. Negative 18. And watch this one work, okay? You like this. Uh, 2x, how does 2x turn into 12x? Well, that's just a magical 6. 6 times 2, of course, is 12, so it's 12x. 6 times negative 3. Yeah, negative 18. That's money right there. Look at that. And of course, this will cancel out. You're subtracting this from that. You end up with a remainder of 0, which means you don't have to write that little fraction at the end. Okay? And most of the time, I'm going to say it's probably going to work out that way. But I want to uh, show you both examples. So the final answer, I'll just write 4x squared minus 5x plus 6. And happy birthday, we are finished. All right, last example. Here we go. This one's a little different than the others, and you may not notice it right off. Um, I probably wouldn't have, except I'm the teacher. This is x cubed, and it skips a few and goes right down to 1. Okay, that's a little different, because we're used to seeing the other examples. We go x cubed, x squared, x, and then the constant. This goes x cubed, skip, skip, then the constant. So what we're going to need to do is maybe account for those skip, skips. 
Because when we do this, I mean, if we were doing like regular numbers like um, 1002, well, that'd be 1002. Zero, zero, There's no placeholders here. And what we're going to need to do is make some. So let's, let's watch, this, watch this work and maybe you'll pick it up. Uh, x minus 1. Now, I need to write x cubed. Now, how many, how many x squareds do I have? Hmm. Well, if they didn't write any, what must have the coefficient, what must the coefficient have been? There's, there's some grammar. Uh, it must have been, of course, zero. So we're going to put zero in for a placeholder, but we need zero x squared in case we have to subtract from that, and we will. Um, and then we also need zero x, and then we, of course, we have that negative one kicking at the end. Put your long division bar in there. All right. Here we go. x goes into x cubed. Well, how do you make that look the same? Well, here's a hint. x squared. Not the best looking x squared I've drawn. Uh, x squared times x, of course, is x cubed. Now you need to multiply x squared times negative 1. Well, that's negative 1 x squared, or just negative x squared. Okay. Now we're going to subtract that. So to, just like we did before, colors here. Just like we did before, use your negative. Then you're going to smato. It's plus, minus, plus. And now we're going to add these two up. Okay, this of course cancels out. Zero x squared and a positive x squared just leaves us with x squared. Okay? Alright, now let's see here. How do you make x look like x squared? Of course, you'd bring down the uh, zero x, which doesn't even look like anything, but there it is. x times x would give us x squared, so I'm going to do that. It's x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. There it is. Get sloppier as I go. And we're subtracting, of course. Quick smato. And now we're all set up. x squared minus x squared is nothing. And this is positive x. Bring down negative 1. How do you make x look like x? Well, you multiply it by 1. Okay? 1 times x minus 1 is x minus 1. Oh, and it's magic. It goes away. It's 0 at the end. No remainder. Fantastic. Okay? All you do is write down your answer. x squared plus x plus 1. Booyah, Grandma. No more. Sunrise will find your darkest